changing fast and not always for the better. It's easy to feel powerless in this constantly changing political climate. It is now more important than ever to use our rights as citizens to enact change. Calling your government representatives might seem a little scary, but we're here to help. Why call? The government is filled with old people. Calling is the most effective way to have your voice heard. Okay, good luck. Here are the levels of participation. Calling, letters, emails, and social media complaining. How to get started. Now that you want to call Congress, there's a general phone number. 202-224-3121. But we recommend calling your senator's local office first. For example, we live in New York City, so we would call Kirsten Gillibrand at her New York City office. Perfect. It's useful to find an advocacy group that can tell you who to call. For instance, ACLU. Apps like Countable and Fed Caddy keep you updated on issues you believe in and how your senators vote on them. Here are some useful tips for calling. Make sure you're calling the right person for the right issue. Make your own script or borrow a script that's already been made. Make the call brief. Ranting is not useful. Ask that your opinion be recorded. This is Representative Boss Bitch's office. How may I help you? Hi, my name is Jane Whatserface from the Representative's District. How may I help you today? Please tell the congressman to oppose the f***ing hatred awful bill that I really disagree with. Thank you for your call and concern, Ms. Whatserface. I'll pass this on to my supervisor. Remember, no matter how old you are, your voice matters. Even if you've never voted before, your voice matters. Even if you've never voted before, your voice matters. It's never too late to start. It's never too late to start. Now is the time to be heard. Sounds good to me.